Line symmetry is probably the most common symmetry that you and I are familiar with and also probably the one that we're the best at. There's something about the fact that you and I are built symmetrically that allows us to see this very easily, especially that vertical line of symmetry. So here are a couple of shapes that we're going to look at in terms of do they have line symmetry. But before we do that, let me just talk to you about some of the language of this idea. First of all, the objective describes symmetry as carrying it, it onto itself. Interesting way of describing it. So the idea is, is there a motion that would carry part of the shape onto itself or all of the shape onto itself. So um, one of the definitions says a figure in the plane has line symmetry if the figure can be mapped onto itself using a reflection. So is there a line, like in, if this is an isosceles triangle, is there a line that would map those two sides, halves, onto themselves. And of course there is. Um, another way to describe line symmetry is the set of points has line symmetry if and only if there is a line such that a reflection through that line, each point maps onto a point in that set or in that diagram. Lots of ways to describe line symmetry, but I think you're familiar with it. This one, for instance, does not have a line symmetry. I cannot draw a line in such a way that they reflect onto each other. So there is no line symmetry here. Um, no matter how I would try, that would not work. Here, if this is an isosceles, there would be a vertical line of symmetry. This half would map to this half and vice versa. All points would map onto itself. This rectangle, of course, would have a, a horizontal and a vertical line of symmetry. Uh, you can see that in a, in a paper, that if you take a piece of paper and were to fold it onto itself, you get a line, you get line symmetry. Or if you folded it onto itself this way, you get line symmetry. If you tried to fold along the diagonal, though, you would not produce, take a look there, it does not work, along the diagonal. This is a common error. Lots of students think that this would work. And that is not a line of symmetry in a, in a rectangle. Well, what actually happened is what you just saw is that this piece would fold to this, not on to the other. And so there is only two lines of symmetry there. Our square has the maximum lines of symmetry. It has four for a quadrilateral. It has the maximum for the quadrilateral. The reason it has the maximum is because it has the most equal angles, the most equal sides, and so on. It's the regular polygon, so it has the most, always is the case. This guy here, our parallelogram, actually would not have any lines of symmetry. So there are lots of symmetries found in our letters. For instance, T has a line of symmetry. M, if done correctly, has a line of symmetry and so on. Lines of symmetry are quite easy to find. Remember, it, there's a maximum of them found in the regular shapes. Let's look at a couple things under the document camera. So let's look at some specific examples now of line symmetry. Uh, here we have the letter A, and you can see uh, our nice, actually it's already been provided for us, but a nice vertical line of symmetry would map the left onto the right and the right onto the left. So it would have one line of symmetry. Z is a, a classic error uh, line symmetry. Uh, I think some students think maybe uh, going down the diagonal here would work. And uh, maybe that's worth testing out. Um, let's take a look uh, here. If we were to draw a line symmetry in, so let's say we 
kind of copy this using our patty paper. And if we were to draw in a line symmetry along that diagonal, thinking maybe that's our answer. If we pick that up and flip it along that diagonal, you can see that we do not map onto itself. So Z has no lines of symmetry. Same thing, too, if you mapped it um, in a horizontal manner. If we were to draw this in as its symmetry, uh, horizontal, which is a typical line of symmetry, if we were to reflect that, you can see uh, not quite. Right? The beautiful butterfly here, we're going to say, has one. Our scaling triangle has none. This shape here, you can already see how the lines drawn in. This is a beautiful example of line symmetry. And we can see, uh, it might be best to number them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, seven's too many, right? Because we already have that one. So there are six there, six lines. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six lines of symmetry. Here, uh, our classic square, one, two, three, four lines in total. Now again, uh, we mentioned that uh, the square is the regular polygon for the quadrilaterals, and so four sides, four lines of symmetry. The parallelogram has no lines of symmetry. Again, we could kind of test, test it out. Um, and try and map it onto itself. But I think we would find, well, you know what we're going to find. If we performed a reflection, say, down a vertical, you know what's going to happen when we flip it over. We're not going to map onto itself. And then this uh, has rotational symmetry, but not line symmetry. Now, one of the uh, things that you'll be asked to do, and I quite like these, is to design um, through shading something that has exactly one line of symmetry. Now, some of you might say, oh, well, let's just shade in this box, and we're done. Well, no, not quite. This actually would have two lines of symmetry, not one, because there would be a line of symmetry that would go this way, mapping it onto itself, but there would also be this one. So that's not a good thing. So let's change it. So how about if we shade in this and this? Now we have just one line of symmetry, exactly one. Now one of the things that's confusing for some students is um, the idea that only the shaded regions are a part of the question. The entire square here is the region that we're going to work with. So by shading these in, uh, we're looking at all nine squares, not just the four or six that we like here. This says have exactly two lines of symmetry. So I could go back to uh, this one here. This would have a vertical line of symmetry. It would have a horizontal line of symmetry. And that would be good. Four lines. Hmm, then how about something that looks like this? That would give me vertical, horizontal, and then the two diagonals. Um, and then this one also four lines. Uh, I'd try something like this. And I think we'd be good to go. Lots of fun with line symmetry. Again, I think it's the simplest of the group because we're most familiar with it.